So I have to make this public. There's a lot of uh, second generation Osmonds out there. Uh, but I have to admit, I am the favorite grandchild of all of Osmond. <laughs> <laughs> he is. I love my grandma very, very much. When I was born, I'm the only one in the second generation of the Eisman that was born with a severe to profound hearing loss. My grandma and I had an immediate connection, immediate bond. Her dream was to help not only her two deaf sons, but to help many other deaf people out there, not with just the gift of hearing, but to provide the best resources out there for families that may have deaf children. When she passed away, I wanted to do something to honor her and to carry her legacy and her dream and her passion. But I remember one time I was helping a little boy in India and we put these hearing devices in his ears and he just lit up like a Christmas tree. Just life changing. And I'll never forget the mother of that little boy came up to me with tears in her eyes. She said, I hope you never measure your life by the days you have lived, but by the smiles you leave behind. It's helped put my life in perspective and to be able to give back. And that's why I do what I do. And someone gave me a chance to be able to hear, to be able to speak, and just my small way of paying it forward with the help of so many wonderful people out there. When I see Justin continuing on with that incredible dream of our mothers, I know he was called for this position because he's now involved with so many thousands of people in the hearing world. I couldn't be more proud. I was raised to believe that we can build our income by what we get, but we build up our lives by what we give. And you've always taught me to give and that made a big difference. It's nice to be able to help and give back. It feels good.